Okay, what we're getting ready to do here is called top working. We're basically, we take a tree that we no longer want <clears throat> for whatever reason, and we want to convert it to a different variety. In this case, the reason that I'm going to be getting rid of the rootstock, or excuse me, the top of this particular tree is because it's very vulnerable to powdery mildew. This was part of my breeding system collection where I evaluated plants. This one turned out to have too much, too much vulnerability to powdery mildew. So I'm going to use the root system that's established here as a supplier of energy for a variety I want. This is the tree. I've already cut some branches off of it to get it more accessible for me to grab. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top off. Okay, so what we have now is we have a, a branch that's decent size and in order to be able to do any grafting, it's very important for you to see the cambium layer, which is that very thin group of cells that's in between the bark and the wood. That's where the growth of the tree takes place, is the cambium layer. And that's the one cell thick layer that you need to be able to match up when you put budwood with the rootstock. That's what makes a graft take, is if you get a good match of those two layers, those two the bud wood and the rootstock. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to do a vertical cut here. <clears throat> this is when you get a little bit bigger size uh, tree. This is sort of like a large size, large size cleft graft. And you'll note that I have a glove on my left hand so that I have... Okay, so back to sawing. Because what we're doing here is we're going to cut down into the branch, or the, into the trunk of this small tree, so we can spread it and do a cleft graft for our budget. The saw roughens the edge of it, so there are different kinds of grafting knives. I like these X-Acto blades, which are basically a big razor blade, because they're very, very sharp, and <clears throat> I can get a good, clean edge with it. Okay, then what we do is we will cut our budwood that we're going to use. And I'm going to keep this bud on the outside because of how close it is to the base. And you do want to have this and nice and uniform because if you have too much ripple in it, you won't get a good match between the cambium layer of the budwood and the tree. 
so you can see the white is the wood, the green is the bark, and there's that very thin layer in between the two. That's the cambium. That's our target. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this screwdriver to spread the cut surfaces as you can see. I got a nice spread there. And I will line up the cambium layer of the budwood with the cambium layer of the rootstock. <clears throat> and I don't need the glove now because I'm through with the razor blade. But it's very important you get that cambium layer as close as you can. And then I'll just tap this down here. Take the screwdriver out. Adjust it just right. And voila, we got a good match. Now, if the tree were bigger, you know, say double that size, we could maybe put two budwood sticks in it for the graft. <clears throat> this is some one inch grafting tape. It's thicker, it's heavier, it's stronger, because when I wrap this around, I'm gonna really put some tension on it in order to uh, keep that rootstock very, very tight against the budwood to make sure we have this good connection. If you use the smaller half inch size tape, it'll pop before you can get the tension you want with a bigger branch. So we go down all the way. We want to get to the bottom of the cut so we don't have any place for bugs or fungus to get into our graft. And then we will cut the uh, tape do the wrap underneath, get the end of it, pull it tight, and presto. Your graft is most of the way done. Now the next thing we need <coughs> is this is what's called parafilm. It's <coughs> wax paper on one side and very, very thin plastic on the other side. It's used in, uh, frequently in, in uh, hospital labs where they do lab testing for bacteria cultures, but in grafting we use it to preserve the moisture that's in the budwood because we don't want this thing dehydrating before the rootstock and the budwood mend. Once they mend and the graft starts growing together, it will it will heal in and protect it. But in the meantime, we want to use this parafilm to wrap around the budwood in this manner. And you can see how it stretches. This will create a moisture proof layer that will protect the the uh, plant, the, the budwood portion of the plant, as I say, from dehydrating. It also will keep any fungus from getting into it or any other 
any insects, uh, they won't be able to get into it either. It serves as a barrier. So this one little branch that was, or the leaf that was, the bud that was pushing out too much, I'll just wrap right over the top of it. Because this parafilm is very, th very thin, as you can see. And what will happen is, as soon as we get the bond between the rootstock and the budwood, and it starts to push, these buds here will grow right through the parafilm and come out and the plant will continue to grow. We will have to take the grafting tape off after three or four months to make sure that this is fully healed. The grafting tape holds the thing together and keeps bugs out. Okay, there is only one thing that remains for us to finish this graft. We need some tree seal that we can use to seal the stump, the tree that we've grafted, and to seal the the uh, crease in here, the crevice, so we don't get bugs into it and keep the rain water out of it too. So that will seal that up and the plant is all set to go. And now we just have to watch it and watch for those buds to start popping out. That's how you do a cleft graft.